Hello everyone, I'm Janathini Shabona and I'm back again with another maths lesson. Today we're going to continue learning about functions. If you haven't watched part 1 of this video, the link will be in the description box below. In that video, we learned about simple functions. It will be helpful for you if you watch that video first. Or you can continue watching this video to learn about inverse functions. With that being said, let's begin our today's maths lesson. Inverse functions in simple words are functions that reverses another function. Suppose in a function if we input x we get y. But in inverse function it will be the opposite. y will give us x. Suppose our function is 3x plus 2. This is our function. In simple functions, if we input 2, it will give us 3 times 2 plus 2 is 8. This is, if it was simple functions, 2 would have given us 8. But in inverse functions, 8 will give us 2. When we look at examples, it will be more clear. To find the inverse of a function, we need to follow these steps. Suppose our function is f of x equals to 5x plus 7. Our first rule will be to substitute f of x with y. After this, if we substitute f of x with y, it will be y equals to 5x plus 7. Our next step will be to rearrange this equation to make x the subject. Rearrange the equation to make x the subject of the equation. So if we do that, it will be x equals to y minus 7 divided by 5. Here, we just made x the subject from this equation. Then our third step will be to swap x and y. If we do this, it will be y equals to x minus 7 divided by 5. And finally, we will replace y with f inverse x. And if we do that, f inverse x equals to x minus 7 divided by 5. So this is how we inversed this function. The inverse of this function is this. To find the inverse of a function, we follow these four simple steps. Number 1, substitute f of x with y. Number 2, make x the subject of the equation. Number 3, swap x and y and number four replace y with f inverse x so now let's turn some functions into inverse functions number one f of x equals to 5x plus 30 f of x equals to 5x plus 30 if we follow these four simple steps, it will be really easy for us to turn this simple function into the inverse of this function. So, first step is to replace f of x with y. Replace f of x with y. So, y equals to 2x plus 30. And then we will make x the subject of the equation. 
So now this is our equation. To make x the subject, we will bring x to one side and everything else to another. So y minus 30 divided by 5. And then our third step is to swap x and y. So we will put x in y's place and y in x's place. So y equals to x minus 30 divided by 5. And then finally we will put f inverse x instead of y. We will replace y with f inverse x. So if we do that f inverse x equals to x minus 30 divided by 5. So the inverse of this function is f inverse x equals to x minus 30 divided by 5. Now let's solve this one. Let's turn this function into the inverse of this function. Our function is g of x equals to 12 multiplied with 3x plus 4 minus 6. So our first step is to replace g of x with y. If we do that, it will be y equals to 12 multiplied with 3x plus 4 minus 6. And then let's make x the subject. To make x the subject in this equation, let's put 12 multiplied with 3x plus 4 minus 6 on one side and y on the other. So to make x the subject, first of all, if we do it step by step, y plus 6 and then 3x plus 4 equals to y plus 6 divided by 12 and then 3x equals to y plus 6 divided by 12 minus 4 and finally x equals to y plus 6 divided by 12 minus 4 divided by 3. Now this here we make x the subject and then we will put x in y's place and y in x's place. So y equals to x plus 6 divided by 12 minus 4 divided by 3. Finally we will replace y with g inverse x. So here as it is g, so g inverse x equals to x plus 6 divided by 12 minus 4 divided by 3. So the inverse of this function is g inverse x equals to x plus 6 divided by 12 minus 4 divided by 3. So this is the inverse of this function. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And like this video and also comment down below if you have anything to say regarding this video. And we'll try to respond as soon as possible. Bye.